Hey Joseph, so I'm making this video for you. So, so I'm gonna go from scratch and show you pretty much all of the features that you get in the software. And, um, okay. So I'm gonna download the Teleplay app and right now PicPulse is part of the Teleplay app. It'll be its own app very soon. I think mainly for reputation reasons because um, a lot of these reviews are ancient or they were made when the app isn't what, is it, what it is now. Um, and this is, so to give context, it started as a green screen studio app. And I noticed most people were like using the foreground elements of the green screen software instead of the actual green screen. And that's when I was like, hey, let me just make it a, a software where you can add foreground effects on top of existing photos and videos. Anyways, so let's get started. So you want to make sure to say allow, um, click on pick pulse, click OK. You can just say not for now. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to the gear icon, make sure that the pick pulse button is turned on. Okay, and then go then you want to click on email and enter the email ad address that you use to purchase pick pulse because that will unlock all of the paid content. Okay, so the key thing, when you're in the gear icon, there are only two things you need to do. Number one, make sure that the pick pulse button is on. And number two, make sure that you enter your email address that you use to purchase pick pulse. And every other button, please ignore every other button. Okay, because, so if, to give context, Magic HD and Magic SD, that, that's actually a background remove, a, a live, action greens a live action digital background removal like let's say you have a toy you want to play with and you want to remove the background so uh that does it in real time if you do the magic stuff but for now the only buttons you need to, to pay attention to are the pick pause button make sure it's on and the email button make sure to enter your email sorry make sure to enter your, e your email address right there so email and pick pulse, those are the only buttons to look at. And now the next thing, now we can start, the next thing you can do is start downloading the background. So, hold on, let me, let me plug this into my phone. <laughs> so there are two ways to download a background. Number one, you can go to your background Okay, and and um, select a photo or video from your uh, gallery, and then it'll appear as a background. So there's a random picture. The touch sensitivity on this iPad isn't great. So bottom line, if you want a custom background from your own device, just go to your background. Sorry, this is if the touch sensitivity on this iPad is not fantastic. It's not. I promise you, it's not a software issue. It's a hardware issue here. Um, okay, so that's all you do. To do a custom background, go to your background and select any photo or video. Now, there are also backgrounds within the app itself, which are all here. So let's say you go to AI Surfaces. So within each, with, uh, sorry, that's again, the touch, the, the, the touch sensitivity, that's a hardware issue, not a software issue. Um, so that within each background category, there is a photo preview, I mean, a video preview and a photo preview. So the video preview has a bunch of videos and the photo preview has a bunch of photos and they're all, it's essentially two categories within a category. So AI surfaces, you just click on this and then it appears as with any background, you can resize it however, which way you want. Let's say you want this background. So instead of, you know, some people are like, oh, let's, why isn't there like a delete button for a background? For now, that's because in, literally to just you do another background, all you have to do is download another one. Again, touch sensitivity is frustrating on this particular iPad. Or you can go to photo preview and do that or do that 
Okay, so that's really it. You just press on the background and that's it. And then it appears. So now you can add foreground elements. Um, let's do something which makes sense for this scene. So we can go here. What if we add a crow? I don't know, let's add a dragon. It's pretty random. Okay. It actually kind of makes sense for this scene, even though it's pretty random. Okay. And then to make it to take a photo, just tap on the red button. To take a video, hold the red button for two seconds. And then tap again. So that's how you make a video recording. And then obviously the video recording takes a little bit longer to process. And here, that's the photo we took and this is the video we took. Okay. So let's say, and you can have, you can have more than one foreground at the same time. So you can do this, which we already downloaded. Once you download something, you don't have to wait for it to download again. And you can add this crow. Okay. That's it. So you can have mo more than one effect at the same time. Something I'm working on now is adding a palette so you can adjust the order of the foreground elements. That's the next uh, little project I'm working on. You can also add your own foregrounds. <clears throat> Keep in mind, you can also rotate, resize your foregrounds. Okay, so you go to your foreground with this button, you can upload your PNGs, JPEGs, and GIF files. And with this button, you can upload a <clears throat> you can upload a JPEG file, and it'll automatically remove a background. So if you want to use this scissor tool, it's an AI tool. You have to make sure that your photo is saved to the files section of your device. And this is how it works. It's really cool. So. Let's say we want to remove the background from here. So it's going to take that JPEG from the file section of your iOS device and it, it turns it into a PNG file. Okay, maybe we can put it like right there. And then, so to add, to add mute, so you can ignore this button right here to this camera button. Just ignore that along with everything here, except for the pick pulse and email buttons. So to make a, to adjust, to add sound, um, let's say you want, I don't know. So the, the play button here, it allows you to preview different sound effects. Let's do this one, for example. Okay, let's say we like that. So to actually have that sound in your recording, just click on download, double tap, sorry. Okay, double tap so that this bar is full. Then we just go here, make sure that only the effect sound is on and that's it. And then that music will be in your recording. Okay. So you get the idea. <clears throat> so right now, if you try to use a video background in iOS, it may be a little buggy. Like let's say we replace this photo background with a video background. Like, um, like again, the touch sensitivity on this iPad is terrible. It's a hard hardware issue. So let's say I don't know, this is a random video background. So what may happen sometimes is that the video doesn't record properly with a video background, but that issue will be solved within a couple of days. Um, and that's it for now, so please let me know if this video helps.